Hello, good morning. It's Sir Abdul Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Monday, the 15th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, European markets, we've got the uh, markets down at the moment, uh, the main catalyst being the given the uncertainty regarding Brexit. Uh, again, a last-minute deal was apparently being reported by Politico over the weekend, and then obviously it all fell through. Uh, and uh, the deadline being Wednesday, it certainly doesn't bode well. That certainly is causing the FTSE 100 certainly to fall on the back of political uncertainty. Also, we've had uncertainty regarding Germany as well with the elections there in Bavaria. Certainly not pointing towards uh, Miss Merkel obviously maintaining power in the long run. So, okay, yes, she did win, but certainly her support base certainly has declined, and therefore... That certainly is questioning the authority of Germany and Europe, which in turn obviously um, has a major impact in regards to Italy and its budget deficit and the concerns obviously surrounding that at present. So again, that certainly is weighing on the market as well. And given the fact that Asian markets certainly obviously were lower again over the weekend, given the ongoing con trade concerns with the US and Ch China. Okay, yeah, please be sure, like I said, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Now, let's look at the actual uh, fundamentals. Uh, German growth apparently is forecasted to uh, certainly pick up in the, in the Q4. Uh, apparently, that certainly is the only bullish headline really this morning. Uh, in terms of the rest of the data today, I mean, you've got the Italian budget deadline. Again, watch out for that. Again, that certainly will be market moving, especially in terms of Euro and European equities. Okay. Uh, we've got US retail sales, that's really probably the, the most important number really for, for the rest of the day. Other than that, there's nothing more or less in Europe. Now let's look at the technical picture. Uh, German DAX again continues to slide. Uh, we are coming into horizontal support though, so bear that in mind. Okay, on the German DAX, but that weakness certainly continues. 60 minute chart certainly doesn't look pretty at all. And the 10 minute chart doesn't look pretty either. So again, just uh, certainly take that into consideration when taking your trading positions today okay so destroying in the key lines that will probably potentially come into play obviously the first one is going to be gap fill around this zone at 11,530 any retracement you're looking at 11,640 and then 11,5,70 and ultimately gap fill above which is 11,700 so again watch out for those uh, for those levels In terms of French CAC, it certainly has been flushed quite substantially. Uh, again, the next potential support now is seen around the 5050, given the uh, ongoing concerns, obviously, regarding the, the situation in Germany and Italy, obviously, as well. So watch out for those two zones. Other than that, there's nothing really that I can elaborate on the short time frame, other than the daily chart, obviously, coming into support. In terms of FTSE 100, <coughs> we failed to hold that 7,000 psychological level. The market certainly is flushing on the back of that. 60 minute chart the next potential support now is seen um, I mean there is some weak support here around the 96970 zone if that fails then obviously we go back and retest the uh, supports around the 6940 and the uh, 6880 okay so watch out for those two zones in terms of the FTSE 100 okay so uh, 60 minute chart really again it's no man's land really uh, and 10 minute chart again no man's land as well Okay, so again, watch out for that daily chart uh, support around 6,970. Okay, really, I think that's a summation of uh, European indices. Um, other than the fact that you can look at the euro stocks as well, the weekly chart, you can see we are now into some serious trouble in the weekly chart. The next support is seen around the 3,150 zone, so watch out there. 60-minute chart as well as in free fall. I mean, it's really hard to even attempt to argue to go along on the euro stocks at the moment, given the situation in Germany. Okay, political uncertainty there, political uncertainty in Italy as well. So those two factors certainly weighing on the index, so bear that in mind. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus there as well. That's on offer. On that note, uh, wish you uh, the best for the rest of the trading session. Goodbye now.